God bless you more abundantly, sir. Amen. Why did I bring that word? The nation of Israel. The nation of Israel. Hmm? Have you ever wondered? Why do you have more people or such nation that God so blessed that's the, that nation? Excellent in technology, excellent in everything. Have you ever, ever, ever wondered why? Did I tell you one of the secrets? According to their own Jewish calendar, beginning from October, last October, till this December, what they are praying for is they are praying for 2021 of June. So they have started praying. And then you are just gathering how many days? And then you want to meet the one that has already been flying. He that is wise. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight, you and I, we are not come here to pray. Amen. I don't come into prayer and begin to pray. And, and begin to play. I come to pray. However, you can have your seat. Just have your seat. I will give a short so that let us have a, a little foundation build on it and then we now pray. Amen. It takes faith. It takes what? Faith. And divine connection for any man of God to declare that 2021 is going to be a year of what divine abundance. Special feet. Like special feet. A child that is born yesterday, you don't expect that by tomorrow you begin to fly. Say, ah, really, okay. But you should first of all crawl, stab, walk, ah, say, fly. Ah, ah, with all this pandemic. Take a special grace. <laughs> uh -huh, you need grace. So I salute the grace of the pastor. Hmm? You know, there are some that people like us, you know, have such a grace. Uh -huh, I salute our grace. And I have faith. Brethren, God desires for his children, for you and I, is to live in abundance in every area of life. Let's get it right. That's God's desire. I only take, I want to take only maybe 15 minutes for it, and now go to prayer. And I have a confirmation for the prayer that we are praying tonight. Amen. 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 A confirmation. Amen. I told brother, go to where we are coming. Confirmation. When God gave me in the morning, the prayer. It's just only one prayer. But it is what? It has many pentacles attached to it. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. If you are watching online, please just be serious. I want you to be serious. And I know people that are here are serious. Yes. There is a prayer that you will pray that is an everlasting blessing. Amen. Let the demons of the old world gather themselves together. They cannot do anything against it. Amen. We are coming to that. Amen. Our God is not extravagant. Yeah, our God is extravagant, but it's not what? It's not wasteful. Mm. He wants you and I to live in abundance. Amen. Our God gives more and more. He's the God of much more. <laughs> He's the God of what? Much more. That is why 2021 is going to be for you and I Amen. and those that desire good for us year of divine abundance. Amen. So what is abundance? <laughs> what is abundance? And what is the abundance or what is divine abundance? Abundance simply means over sufficient supplies. Over sufficient. You know that this is what I need. At least imagine if I can have that is enough. This is over 
sufficient supplies. Your economy stimulus cannot over sufficient supply for you. It's not possible. Your wages cannot. Amen? Amen. It's only God. What is abundance? Abundance means overflowing fullness. Overflowing fullness. <laughs> Extreme plenty. It's not, you are not going to waste it all. As I said, our God is what? Extravagant, but not wasteful. Abundance covers every area of our lives. Not only in money, brethren. Not only in money, because when people hear divine abundance, the first thing they think is money. It's not money, it's more than money. Right? Money is just a fraction of it. So abundance spiritually, number one. That is the foundation. Amen. Abundance spiritually. <laughs> John 31 to 8. You may not have time to read, but I'll give you the Bible references. When your spirit becomes born again, when you surrender your life to Jesus, accepting him as Lord and Savior, brethren, you will have spiritual abundance. Amen. And that is the foundation. The one who does not have Jesus, brethren, and seeking for divine abundance. When the abundance comes, he might what? He might misuse it and even kill himself or herself. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Physical abundance. So there may be abundance physically. That is the well-being of your body. The well-being. Many rivers this year has passed over, has passed under the bridge. The ground has swallowed many. But you and I, we are standing. We are standing by his mercies, standing by his favor and by his grace. It's not by our, it's not by our works. Amen? Amen. Amen. That will be the being in the form of heads, good heads. Thank God for the verse that I want to use. Third John verse 2. Beloved. After your salvation, beloved, I wish above what? Every other thing. Now you do what? Prosper. And be what? In good health. There is that normal idea that says, what is the importance of wealth without good health? Abundance materially. The third one. That has to do with your finance. And even your assets. I'm not talking about liabilities now. I'm not talking about credit cards. Amen? Amen. Liabilities. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about what? Finances and assets. Yes, <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Bible even says in Psalm 24, verse 1, that the heart is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that do what? Well, they are and they are so if the heart is the Lord, that means He wants to give you supernatural abundance, divine abundance upon the surface of the earth. Amen. As it is in heaven, so it is on earth. There is abundance in heaven. There is no scarcity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Number four, abundance to your soul. That means prosperity in the form of emotions, in your will, in your mind, so that you will be stable and then you will be creative in 2021. Amen. God does not, no, God does not make you to be, to be a workaholic from one shift to the other. He wants you to be what? A controller and a director. Amen. And that will be your portion in 2021 in Jesus' name. Matthew 6, 32. Matthew 6, 32. Let me just open that and then we we'll read it unto each other. 6, 32. Jesus Christ said, For after all these things, do the 
began thy seed. For your heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. So God desires is to give you what? The abundance in everything in life that will bring glory to Him. What about social abundance? Social abundance. Ah, you must. They, they, when people see you, they must know that ah, he has come blessing. He has come a man of God. He has come children. He has come family of God. Social abundance. That means you are gaining status among people. You don't need to be looked down. In 2021, nobody will look down. Amen. Anyone that dare to look down you, they will go blind. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Luke 12, 32. However, brethren, get it right that our God is the God of principle. And He runs the universe by the principle that He Himself established. However, understanding that principle is to you and I of advantage, is the key. For you and I to live in divine abundance in 2021. And so what are the what are the what are the principles? Number one, in 2021, if you have not been doing it before, God make God your priority. Let God be your priority number one. You know things. Number one. Priority number one. Even before you before you greet your spouse when you wake up, it's God. It may be too hard. Yeah. About you like you are my worry. It's because it's because it's because I'm still alive. God forbid. If one if God has called one to glory, will that woman not marry another person? Uh -huh. So first of all, give put God first Amen. before you greet your wife Amen. or your spouse. Amen. Amen. I always tell my, my children, before you greet me, greet God. So, God must be your priority number one. In what? Putting God first in, in, in everything you do. Put God's kingdom first. Matthew 6, 33. Say, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And what? And his righteousness. He said, and all these things, abundance, these things, Still under get priority, right? You put spiritual above physical or material. Let spiritual be above material. Third John verse 2. Under that, get your priority right. Never, ask, never underestimate the power of simple obedience. Simple obedience. Amen. Amen. Never underestimate it. Hmm? Those who cannot obey the ridiculous cannot receive the miraculous from the Lord. If you don't obey the ridiculous, God will just say, ah, let the prostrate. Also, He will not tell you to prostrate on the highway. God will not do that. Uh -huh. Maybe in your close here. Yeah? So, do it. It's God. They may tell you to wave your hand. Wave it. You don't know. We don't know whether whether no such thing is it. As you wave your hand, it goes off. Under mm -hmm. get your priority right. You honor God, brethren. Please. Let's give honor to whom honor is due. Honor him in tithes. <laughs> Under that, underestimate, never underestimate the power of the simple obedience. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 and James 1 25. They don't know God. Honor him in tight. Malachi 3 10 to 12. Honor him with your first fruit. Proverbs 3 verse 9. Honor him rather than giving him the leftovers. God is not interested in your leftovers. No matter. Do not worry. Tell your, tell your neighbor, do not worry. In that your home, tell, tell, tell your spouse, do not worry. Brother, you don't need to worry. Why are you worrying? That's why say, why worry? When you can pray, 
Why don't you turn it to Jesus? Don't worry. When we were young in Lagos, there is uh, uh, this, this big glory. You see it everywhere. They will put it there. Why worry? Why worry? You don't need to. Why are we worrying? Worrying for what? Worrying for a guest tomorrow that you cannot create? Are you the creator? Amen. Amen. Matthew 6, 25 to 34. That is why worry. Don't worry. Do not worry. Worry results in adverse condition to you and to your head. The moment you get to you, you started worrying. Adverse condition to your to your to your personality and to you and to your The blood pressure will go up. This will this will happen. Why are you not worrying? Why don't you cast? Or unto him. First Peter 5 7 and Psalm 37 verse 5. And then wait on the Lord always. 2021, wait on the Lord. If he tells you to move, move. If he doesn't tell you to move, don't move. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then the third one, that is where you and I have come. Ask. A S. What is the importance of your mouth if you cannot ask? Why did God give you mouth? Amen? Amen. 2020, it is believed that it, 2020 is the year of the mouth. The year of the mouth. But the devil, hmm? as far as 2019, before even 2020, they have decided it. Orchestrate and finish it and say in the 2020 year you will begin to use the gobble people's mouth so that you won't pray. That is why you will see all this one. All what you are using. <laughs> the year of the mouth. They now they now stood a case it. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm not against any science. I read I, I I'm a scientist, I am a scientist person. I have masters okay, in animal science. So <laughs> I'm not against it, brethren. So you are going to ask. Matthew 7, 7 to 11. Only ask and it shall be what? Given unto you. Only seek and you shall find. Begin to knock. And the door, if the door, the, the door that you have been knocking since, even in this year 2020, that has not opened. Everyone will flood it open in Jesus' name. Yeah. Brother, we are here tonight to ask from our wife, Holy Daddy. <laughs> Who is the giver of every good gift and perfect gift? So it is not all gifts that are. They may be good, but they may not be perfect. So when this God gives you good and perfect, divine abundance. Bible says his blessings make it what? Rich without what? Sorrow. However, the asking tonight is going to be different. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I said you are going to lose 15 minutes on this. Uh -huh. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So, brethren, you are now we have come. So you can now rise. God has no end. God has what? No end. 2020 is about to come to an end. Oh, sorry. Where is 2019? <laughs> Where is 2019? Gone since. Huh? Year 2000, gone since. Since when? Uh, so 2020 is going to what? Go. But this God that you now have come to, that you are going to come to tonight has no end. Revelation chapter 1, verse 18. Revelation chapter 1, verse 18. He says, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I did it. That scripture should have heard there. Amen. Amen is the end of what? A statement. So shall it be. And that is all. But it says, and has the keys 
of air and of death. Mm. So this God has no end. Mm. He does not die. Amen. 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 So that when you begin to pray, you, you know the kind of prayer you are going to pray. <laughs> this God lives forever. Revelation 4, verse 9. He lives forever. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him, that seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever. They should have put another amen. He lives forever. That is the God. <laughs> and not quite long. Not even quite long. That is the, that is the, that is the, that is the scripture of our daddy two Sundays ago now. Going higher. First Kings 17. Chapter 1. Bible says, And Elijah the Chishbet, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, <laughs> to tell you that he lives, the Lord God of Israel, he liveth. <laughs> Only before whom I stand, you are standing before that God tonight. Amen. And so you are going to call on you. This aspect of prayers, the blessings that ask no hand, because the God you are going to you are calling on tonight is the God that has no hand. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Even if, if Jesus tarrying is coming, and you use 120 years, eh, if Jesus is tarrying. Your children, children will take over the blessings. Amen. The blessings that has no end. Amen. I'm sure. Amen. Open your Bible with me immediately. Luke 24. And so that is where the prayer is. Now, brethren, I want to tell you, it was this very morning that God gave me. So, uh, what is this? So is there any blessing that has no end? When that person is dead, that's the end. Say, no, this one is not. It's in the Bible. Say, okay, open it. Luke 24. Let's read the last four verses. 50 to 53. Luke 24, 50 to 53. And he, talking about Jesus there, led them out as far as as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hand and blessed him. 51. And it came to pass why he blessed them. He was parted from them and carried to heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they continue in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Amen. The blessing that does not end. Did you see it in that verse? Especially in that 51. He said, and it came to pass, while he blessed them, he's still blessing them. But who says he was buried. Bible says he didn't say he, uh, after he has why he why why he still blessing them and before they say the cross be see or amen he took off that means taking the blessings to what to heaven meaning that I'm still blessing you as I am going amen. why seated with the at the right hand of God I am what blessing you. While you are still upon the surface of the earth, I am what? Blessing you. Anyone that has your blood flowing in there, I'm going to what? Blessing him. Blessing Amen. that does not end. That's what you are going to see and you are going to have Amen. in 2021. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So you are going to tell the Lord. Why don't you first of all begin to thank him? That's all. There is a blessing that does not end. 
that they are trying to photograph. Thank you because my 2021 is going to be glorious than 2022. It's going to be the best year I have ever spent. I appreciate him that 2021, 2021 is going to be more glorious. More glorious is going to be. 21 means seven multiplied by three. <laughs> Perfection in triple. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Even though 2020 was the, was the year of mouth where they closed the mouth, 2021 it will be unbroken, impossible for them to close. I appreciate the Lord, I appreciate the Lord tonight. For the blessing that has no end. Because the God that I'm calling on tonight has no end. Elohim does not have no end. El Shaddai has no end. El Yon has no end. Jehovah God has no end. The God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has no end. Why don't you appreciate him? That you and I we are here tonight. The blessings that has no end. Daddy, we appreciate you for the blessings that has no end. That is our portion in 2021. The blessings of God that has no end. God of heaven. Abundance that has no end. Breakthroughs that has no end. Victories that has no end. Successes that has no end. Joy that has no end. In the name of Jesus. Peace that has no end. Open doors that has no end. Prosperity that has no end. Providence that has no end. In the name of Jesus. Mercies that has no end. Faithful that has no end. Grace that has no end. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Bible says, and it came to pass. Why? He blessed them. So you want to tell the Lord? You want to cry? Yeah. I've always been, I've, this is my behavior, let me tell you, brethren. And I've said it once or twice here. I sweat only in the presence of God. I don't sweat to make money. And to God be the glory that the Jews said in, in the last Congress that his children is going to make successes without any sweat. Yeah. So that should be your, that is your portion. And I covet it for every one of us in this, in this King's Assembly. In the name of Jesus! So the first one is this. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Bible says the blessings of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord. Make it rich. And he added no sorrow with it. The blessing. <laughs> the blessing. Not the blessing. So look your Bible well. The blessing. It looks singular. But it is what? It is fully loaded. Abundance. It has abundance. The blessing. Yes, Lord. Just like, just like what Solomon has for. When God asks me anything, he said wisdom. Wisdom does not come in room. Wisdom is fully loaded with other things attached to it. You are going to turn it off. When Abraham was about to go. Abraham was about to go. He gave all his servants gifts. But when it came to Isaac, man, Baba, he gave Isaac the blessing. The blessing. So there is a difference between the blessing and the gifts. The gifts are blessings. The deep blessing. I would say the blessing of the Lord, naked fish. You are going to tell the Lord that blessing that does not end. That blessings that so that 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 exists richness that goes into wealth, prosperity and flourishment. That is it, Anna. I convey that blessing tonight. Bless in the name of Jesus. The blessing that does not end. <laughs> 
the blessing of the Lord that has no end according to thy word in Proverbs 10 22 Almighty God I receive it tonight beginning from now till I see you in glory even unto my children and my children's children in the name of Jesus King Jesus has come in glory upon the surface of the earth in the name of Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. We are going to sit there, the Lord. Greatness that has no end. Yes, our God is great. What you don't have, brother, you can't give up. That's right. If you come to me now and ask me, Pastor, give me pound sterling. Ah, I don't have pounds that here now. <laughs> it is of no use, so <laughs> there is no way I can give you a pounds that Same way, this is. Even if you ask me of Naira, Naira, where would I get it? Brother, so that's it. So what you do up? You can't do it. The first one that you have, blessing, belongs to our God. Amen? From the beginning, in the beginning, the very first war, that God makes to you and I is that the Bible says, and God bless them. That is what He has. Amen. Amen. So, greatness is it in the Bible. Of course. <laughs> of course. Psalm 145, verse 3. Psalm 145, verse 3. What did He say? Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsatiable. It has no end. <laughs> so you are going to tell the Lord that greatness that has no end in every facet of life, if it is in education for my children, in academics for my children, greatness that has no end, in business, greatness that has no end. In profession, greatness that has no end. Anyone that wants to contest or compete with me. Oh, leave that song. Oh, my job on me. Greatness that has what? No end. According to the world. Greatness that is unsatiable. Greatness that can never be contested. That will I receive it tonight. Pray us in the name of Jesus. Receive greatness in every facet of life and destinies. Greatness that has no equal. <laughs> Even in ministry, Almighty God. Baba, I am asking, in the name of Jesus, greatness that has no equal, no second, God of heaven. That is what I desire. And the Bible says, the desire of the righteous shall not be cut short. That the eye receive greatness that has no equal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Victories. You don't need to live an undulating life. Victory today, defeat tomorrow. Victory tomorrow. Undulating life. Psalm 98. Psalm 98. Verse 1. It says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his only arm has gotten him the victory. <laughs> his right hand. Why do you think the devil attacks or he came through the woman? Because you always put the woman on the right hand. Mm. 
There is victory through the right hand of God. Only with my right hand, I am upholding you with my right hand of what? Righteousness. So you are going to turn it off. Victories that has no end. No more defeat. You declare it. No more what? Defeat. Victories in the morning. Victories in the afternoon. Victories in the evening. Victories at night. Victories not Goro. Victories not Guana. Victories the Gabe. Victories the Wale. Victories not the Shep. Victories not the Business. In every facet of life and destinies. The victories of the Lord. Bless by your right hand, Almighty God. You are my strong ally. You are my strong ally. And you never, you never lose a battle. No, never. You are the man of war, the God of battles. You are the one that when you arise, fire goes before thee. When you arise, all your enemies are scattered. God of heaven, victory is eternal. In every facet of love and destinies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Divine abundance. You must have it all around her. Not just the money, not just financially. All around her. Amen. Strength that does not end. Divine what? Strength. Okay. Psalm 27 verse 1. Verse 20. Psalm 27 verse 1. Strength that does not end. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Only whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. So you see. <laughs> Only of whom shall I be afraid? The strength of my life. Not the strength of my situation. Not the strength of, the, of, of, of my life in the morning. Of my life to come it. So you are going to ask for that strength. In that Isaiah he said, Those that wait upon the Lord shall do what? Renew their strength. So you need strength, new strength for 2021. In the name of Jesus. Yes, COVID has battered people's strength in 2020. Amen. Even, Christ, even Christians, they believe God has not given us the spirit of fear. But brethren, you can, when you see them, you see fear beating on their forehead. They are forgotten their revelation. That chapter in Revelation says, A new name shall be written upon your head. Instead of the new name of God, they are seeing fear. That is COVID. Eh? Praise God. You are going to tell the Lord. You are seeing it now. The Lord is the strength of my life. You are going to tell the Lord. Strength in every facet of life spiritual strength, physical strength. Financial strength, ministerial strength, marital strength, mental strength, moral strength, academic strength, educational strength for my children. Strength in every face of life. Daddy, I receive it, I covet it, and I have it tonight. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Be my strength. Strength of the Lord. Strength of the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. You are in the presence of God. Waiting tonight in prayers. Asking in prayers. Why don't you ask for the strength? Strength for 2021. Even for years to come. Strength that does not end. We are talking about God that has no end. So everything you are asking tonight, it will have no end. No end. Successes that has no end. Strength, strength, strength. Almighty God. That has no end. The strength of my life. The strength of my life. For my wife and your children. For my husband and your children, for our families, for your church, for the body of Christ, the strength of God, the strength of God that has no end in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. As 
still have 15 minutes. Don't worry, I'm looking at the time. What about Elijah? <laughs> Even though he said it there, that the Lord is the strength of my life, but there is a life that cannot end. When you close your eyes here, you open your eyes here, it does not end. Uh, Christian does not end their, their, their work here or not. No, it continues where? In heaven. Life that does not end. Open your Bible with me to John chapter, chapter 1. Let's begin from that chapter, John chapter 1. The life that does not end. <laughs> Hey. Verse 4, only in him was life. And life was what? The light of men. In him, in who? In that God that has no head. In that God that liveth forever. He now says again, in that John chapter 3, verse 36. John 3, 3, 6. He said, He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. So that means the life that does not what? Hey! That's it. And he that believeth not on the Son. I would say it has no life. But the other side. That means, and he also said, by the wrath of God, abided in that person. But you and I, we have come to the God that does not end. So I'm, I'm asking, you are going to ask for the life that does not end. Life that gets me see. I say, ah, no, this one is untouched. Touch not. Only touch not my anointed. And do my prophet now. Hey. The life that even we see as you are coming, You have no option that to find another way. You are going to tell the Lord that life, that everlasting life that has no end. Father, from you that has no end, I receive that life this, this evening. Prayers in the name of Jesus. I receive the abundant life. The life, Bible says, Jesus has called that you and I have life and have it was more abundant. Abundant life in 2021 <laughs> and beyond, and beyond, and beyond. And beyond abundant life, life that does not end, that we are received tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. What about peace that has no end? <laughs> the peace that has no end, the peace that passes all understanding. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. No, no, no verse 26. Let's use that bit. So if, at the later part, that, that's right. Only, only and God give thee peace. Hmm? And if you look, if you read it well from 24, Bible says, and God commanded Aaron. He told Moses, he said, go and tell Aaron, in this wise, Shall you bless the children of Israel? Saying, and I'm, I'm, I'm reading out that word, saying, is not that said. Said is what? Saying is what? Ah, uh -huh, thank you. God bless you. Saying. Saying. So, and God give thee peace. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, is this saying? It's Baba. He took it up. And he still bring it. He still, uh -uh. He still praying for you. So you are going to pray the Lord. Peace yes. that does not end. Peace that passes all understanding. Even if you enter into any year, yeah, there is talk. The moment you step on this, on the scene, there will be what? Peace. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Peace that has no end. The peace of God. The peace that passes all understanding. God of heaven, that is what we ask for tonight. In the name of Jesus. Not only for 2021, but God of heaven will need it more in 2021. And even in the years beyond. In the name of Jesus. The peace of God. Almighty God. 
the person don't understand it. We receive it, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are going to sit there, the Lord. Joy. Joy in the morning. Joy in the evening. Joy in the afternoon. In the evening, at night. Joy in the room. Joy in the room. Joy in the room. Joy when you are going out. Joy when you are coming in. Joy 24 7 is possible. Romans 15 13. Romans 15 13. Romans 15 13. Now the God of hope. <laughs> now the God of hope. You and I are all full of what? Of a better and divine, and you are also for divine abundance in 2021. That's why you are here. Now, the God of hope, not the God that is dead. He says, Fill you with all joy and peace. <laughs> so, you are going to ask the Lord in 2021 and beyond. Divine feeling, divine abundance in joy, divine abundance in peace, joy unspeakable, full of glory. I receive it. Prayers in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, you are not praying as if you are on mountain top. In the name of Jesus. Fill you with all joy and peace. In believing, believe for it. Oh my brethren, ask for joy and peace that does not hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father. Open unto Psalm 103. Maybe two more prayers. Two more prayers. I love the mountain top. Yeah. But we thank God. By this time next year, we meet at the mountain top. In the name of Jesus. Any pass, any people, any personality, whosoever, whatsoever, we are so ever they may be. That may be deciding that it will not be possible. God of heaven, the ground will open up and swallow them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus! Yeah. Enough is enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. Uh -uh. Enough is enough. Yeah. In Nigeria, they are saying, it, they are not too sure whether, whether they are going to have crossover now. Enough is what? Enough. What are you going to say? I have to stand at the body. We are working against ourselves at times. Mm -hmm. eh? Only you shall decree a thing. Mm -hmm. And you shall be established. Ah yes, uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Instead of us to decree, we say, that is the authority. Which nonsense authority? <laughs> which, nonsense, which, which nonsense authority? Who gave you the authority? You are, the authority they gave to you, you are using it against the one who gave you the authority. Ah mm ah. -hmm. Uh -uh. Then the one who gave you the authority should take back the authority. Simple. And turn that and turn that personality of being to what? To mere men. Enough is enough. Psalm 103. Let's see verse 17. But the mercies of God is from what? Everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that fear him. Only thy mercies endure it forever. Amen. Only the mercies of God are new every morning. Amen. Why is God called merciful? Because He has mercies that are full and overflowing. Amen. <laughs> so you are going to tell the Lord. Jesus. 
you are going to say concerning you and your family in 2021 and beyond mercy in the name of Jesus above what? above judgment mercies in every facet of life mercies mercy speak for me in the name of Jesus <laughs> in 2021 and above and beyond, Almighty God, mercies of God, mercies of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, humble with his favor and his abundant grace. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Brethren, time will not permit us. Time will not permit us. Protection that has no end is there. Safety that has no end. Divine security that has no end. Deliverance that has no end. Yeah. Providence that has no end. Brethren, breakthroughs, provisions that has no end. Yeah. That is what Jesus is praying for you and I. You know, because he took the blessing to you and he's still praying. It never ended. It is a blessing that does not end. So finally, brother, what did I want to bring out there? I still want to bring out something in that in that Luke 24. In that Luke 24. <laughs> Bible says it that verse. And they continued in the temple. Praising and blessing God. Amen. I said it, what you don't have. You cannot give because they are now blessed. They are now doing what? Blessing God back. <laughs> Amen. 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 If, if you do not have divine providence in 2021, there is no way you can give it to another person. It's not possible. So it's what you have. I said it. If you ask me for dollar, and you ask me for pounds now, there is no way now. Dollar to pound we are for now. Auto be you have law. Pounds is as big as this. Dollar is what? Praise God. Naira, come on, Toby, last one. Ojin, 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 the 500, 500 Naira to a dollar. Only God will help Nigeria. And they continue in the temple, praising and blessing the Lord. You are going to get the Lord. In 2021, yes. Daddy, I am going to bless you. Amen. I have decided to bless you. Amen. God of heaven, I am covenanting with you. I'm making a covenant with you, my God, to bless you in 2021. Bless you in the name of Jesus. God of heaven in 2021 and beyond. I am making a covenant with you, Almighty God. To bless you, Almighty God. I will bless you in the morning. I will bless you in the afternoon. I will bless you in the evening. I will bless you at night. I will bless you in my going out. In my coming. Thank the Lord. Blessing that does not end. I am going to bless you. I am decided to bless you. And that is my decision, Almighty God. But I'm not called my decision. In the name of Jesus. In every facet of life and destinies, I have decided to bless you. And I will bless you. Because that is my desire. That is what I'm declaring. I am declaring to bless you and I will bless you. I am made to bless you and bless you. As you bless me, Almighty God, I will bless you back. Because I'm made to be a blessing. I will bless your church. I will bless your kingdom works. I will bless you. I will bless your children. I will bless you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. My middle name shall be turned to blessing. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 